all right guys let's see what do we have wait a minute what's that hmm that's interesting so you see this taller grass it's fairly new grass you can see a lot of that out there i've got some brome coming in and stuff from the field behind me and all that i left it tall because i wanted to try out the flail mower uh when i put the new blades on it but uh the cup cadet guy the rep called me and said hey you want to try out a a pro x and i'm like i don't even know what a pro x is um i've seen a couple guys demo them on youtube um you know they do the thing where you can stand right here and when my wife gets home she doesn't like being on camera but i'm gonna have her pick it up i'm gonna try to have her pick me up which you can't because i'm heavier than what she can pick up and then i'm gonna see if she can pick that deck up because the deck does come up and down really easy um just some of the things that i pointed and they ain't telling me to say nothing i i mowed with it just a little bit here um and actually it does not i want to point this out this is not very good grass it was that tall this does not have a striping kit on it i can see a stripe i don't know if it's going to show up in camera but the white stripe is your up stripe and it started to get the decent grass here this is still weeds and i turn around here too much and all that you can still see kind of a stripe but i'm interested to see what it does in there and that tall stuff um granted it's it's new grass but it is tall i mean it's it's tall it's six or eight inches tall and i've got it set on two and three quarter inches so and like i said i was going to have i was going to use the flow more and kind of see what it'd do in taller grass but some of the things that i've seen when i was looking at it i'm just going to point them out for you guys i like this i can show you what i have inside on my john deere and my right standard type mower um it it doesn't have a little rod in like that which to me i i like that i've got a little bolt that's smaller than all these other bolts on there with a chain hanging my deck i've got a john deere 652r which is a, a 52 inch deck basically a right standard a little different but uh basically a right standard and then i've got a right zk uh 72 inch deck it has a little bit bigger bolt these bolts are bigger than what hangs the deck on it um you know this is nice thick steel that's uh around three eighths is what it looks like to me and i've proven before in the past that normally when i say it looks like three eighths we measure it it's three eighths um so i'd say it's three eighths he told me it is i don't want to lie i think he told me it's a 10 gauge deck but if i had to guess i think it's seven gauge because down here where i'm feeling there i think it's a seven gauge deck i don't think it's 10 gauge so then what they do is they plate it on the top see that where the the uh yep the my gosh the blade spindle where it bolts up it's got an extra plate on the top and i guess it has an extra plate like that on the bottom um that's kind of nice i mean that's really beefing up that's really beefing up the uh the deck and if you look at that that's 10 gauge or i mean oh my gosh i'm just losing my mind that's seven gauge right there um so i bet you it's triple seven gauge in the uh, deck housing well this is quarter out here on the outside edge of the deck which is nice they beef that up um but look at the size of the bolts i mean just something as trivial as bolts look at the size of the bolts on all the on all the mechanisms i do like these rod ends instead of the hanging chains this is nice you know you pull your little clip and i would assume you might have to unbolt that to get this off or maybe loosen the jam nut up um and even look they've got a rod end a nice bushed rod end that holds the deck so the deck doesn't swing back and forth it doesn't have these little bars going back with rubber bushings in them that's nice i mean from a mechanical standpoint that is nice um i don't know i'm not real whoopy on having these big holes in this in this tube but it is a really big tube i mean that's probably oh one and a half by three and look at this i pointed this out to him and he really didn't even notice it those are mandrel bent tubes they don't have the squish 
you know, the cheap way to bend it. Um, that's expensive to bend it that way. Uh, your battery box is underneath here. Um, what is that? Some kind of hitch penny left me. Uh, 24 12 12s instead of a 20 10 10 tire. That's kind of nice. Um, you can take this off. Here, let's just get the tripod. So I don't have to try to hold the camera and show you guys a couple of these things here. Um, let's see. Can you see it there? You can see it there. So everything's thumb screwed. Anything that you have to take off is thumb screwed. Oh, I guess I don't have to unscrew it that much. Um, and you can pull your pad off. And it has different positions to adjust it. So if you're a shorter guy, I don't even know where it was. And I don't mind that. I don't mind that. No, I don't mind any of them. They could be all in the same spot, I guess. Uh, let's put it in the middle. We'll put it in the middle. Tighten it down. Uh, the nice thing is, is, you know, as you're standing here, you know, at your platform, here's your parking brake, here's your deck adjust, that, it's super easy, I mean, I'm used to my 72 inch ZK, but, uh, that's pretty easy, um, another thing I like about it, I mean, there's a couple things I don't like about it, I mean, I'm, I'm not real sure if I even like that it's a Cub Cadet, but, I, I don't want to, I mean, that's kind of rude to say that, but everybody thinks Cub Cadet as a Home Depot. Um, okay, so see this latch? See when you pull your trigger? So it latches on your pin, and then you unlatch it, you pull it back, and it latches there. So you have a positive latching mechanism on both sides. That's kind of nice. Um, I like this. Everything, you know, like the... Uh, Oh, the throttle and stuff on my deer, my 652 is up here. You know, everything is right back here where you need to use it. Um, you don't have to put your hand in there and throttle up or anything. Throttle up. Here's your choke. PTO. Um, you know, right standard deer type controls. I don't want to say everybody steals something from everybody else, but it's a great idea. I like this setup. Um, these are more like the deer control right standards. Um, I think I actually like it better than the right controls, um, but it's just, they're kind of the same, but they're not. Um, again, you know, we've got quarter inch plate out here. I, I do like that. It keeps from scratching your deck up. Um, I don't know the, I don't know, if, I mean, I don't know why, maybe because they're thin. These just seem cheap. I think it's just because they're narrower. Um, and maybe I'm just used to my, my ZK, the 72, everything's bigger. Um, anyways, this is kind of nice. It's a platform adjustment for your suspension. So if you have a small little tyke like Sammy, you can adjust that down to one. I think that's a hundred to 150 pound person, two to 250 or, uh, 150 to two or something like that. And then 300 pound person. He said he runs it on two, so I'll just leave it on two. Um, you'll have to excuse me. I don't remember how many gallon the fuel tank is. I I would assume, I mean, that's like a six gallon, six and a half gallon can tank. Maybe, maybe seven or eight. Uh, we'll have to look up specs, but um, anyways, it looks like a decent sized fuel tank. 25 and a half horse. Uh, Kawasaki that's nice most of them are 23 23 and a half horse um, you can still get to your oil check uh, I think it has the the little rubber hose for the oil change um, the I don't know what the blade tip speed is I didn't look up spec but it sounded like we were up there it sounded like we were up there in blade tip speed but let me uh, let me mow some of this stuff and I'm just going to put you here right at the end. Let's move this. We'll move this back so we can get a little bit of a little bit of mowing. What do you think? <laughs>
I'm actually kind of surprised that it mowed that well. I mean, it looked like it had pretty decent discharge. Let's see what kind of blades? Oh, just regular high lift blades. No gator blades or anything like that. And I am mowing it short. Um, it cut good. I mean, the blades look nice and sharp, but you can see, you know, it's not ripping the blade. Um, you know, and we're cutting a lot off. But without having a striping kit, I mean, let's go to the last one because no striping kit. I mean, granted that line's a little wiggly, um, but that doesn't look horrible. Uh, let's go back over it one more time because obviously you guys that mow, you know, you know, if you're mowing really tall stuff, you need to mow it twice. start here I mean that's kind of spotty grass but that's not bad I mean with no stripe kit he said that they use a striping roller kind of like the old simplicity style uh, stripers so those are kind of nice uh, I think Toro still kind of makes those they use like a either a oh a phenolic type plastic or something um, or and there's my wife just got home from work so I'm gonna take this over there but anyways, it's probably a rubber or a plastic, uh, oh, park and brake, probably a rubber or plastic roller. I need you to help me with something. Mm, well, you have a I know. Well, I'm recording. Come here. You got to help me. If you tell me no, you're gonna be telling everybody on YouTube no. I'm, I'm okay with that. No, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. Okay. Well, another YouTuber. I won't say his name. Dirt Monkey. Um, he had this mower. Okay, go stand on the back. You can be back here. This is how you lower your deck. So, oh, wait a minute. Here, come here. Let's oh. test this. Come here. Come here. Okay. Grab around here. Pick me up. Pick me up. Okay, she can't pick me up. Okay, get on there. Push your button. Kind of pull back a little bit. Push your button and let your deck down. Is that pretty easy? Yeah. Okay, bring it back up. Okay. You ready? Let it down. Okay, bring it back up. Well, it wasn't super easy for her, but she's a girl and she can't pick me up. She just picked the deck up with me on it. That's kind of interesting. Hang on a second. I didn't realize this 
wasn't ours. Yeah, no, that's not ours. That's one they're having me look at to see if it's amazing or not. All right, here's our ZK. Okay. Same type of thing, but this one you kind of have to pull back on it a little bit, push the button, and let it down. Okay. And you have to push it down a little bit, push the button, and pull it up. Okay, come here for a minute. See if you can pick me up still. <laughs> I didn't get any stronger. Okay, okay you're good. she still can't pick me up. Uh, this deck's heavier, so go ahead and put the deck down. Okay, pick me up. <laughs> Don't hurt yourself, okay, okay. <laughs> All right, she probably could have done it, but she doesn't need to hurt herself. Okay, I'm done with you. Okay, great. Yep. Oh, wait by the camera. She loves being on camera. Loves it. Um, and granted, that might not have been a true test because that is the 72. Uh, the 52's in front of this one. Uh, but this is this is their flagship. And I'm not comparing this to that. It's apples to oranges. Uh, but that that was pretty impressive. And this is this is kind of easy to be honest with you. I mean. I've, you know, obviously I'm a guy a little stronger than my wife. Um, I did that from the front of the tire. Let's even get in the back of the tire. I mean, that's considerably heavier, but it is a bigger deck. So, anyways, uh, I think I'm going to have Sammy on this. I'm going to do a... Oh my gosh, my dog just scared the hell out of me. Hi, Lil. I know, she likes being on camera. Hi, baby. She loves being on camera. My wife doesn't, but she likes it. Anyways... Um, so I'm going to get some drone footage of this and we'll kind of see Sammy moan with it. We'll actually see how Sammy likes it. Everybody knows how tiny Sammy is. She's little, like hundred pounds. Um, we'll see if she likes the pad. Might like the pad a little bit better. We can adjust her, her footboard suspension. Um, see if she likes it. I do like the bigger tires. You get a little more flotation, uh, probably a lot more side hilling and stuff like that. As long as the balance is there um, but that's I don't know that's kind of neat you could tuck stuff in there maybe put your cell phone maybe that's what that's for is there a cigarette lighter nope I think people need to start putting cigarette lighters on you know people run GoPros and charge cell phones but no cigarette lighter we do have a weird hitch pin I don't know what that's for in a cup holder I like cup holders I have two on big boy but see, I have a trash bag. This is a removable, oh, it has trash in it, but it's a removable trash bag. You can squeeze it, pull it right off. It's got a handle on the bottom, shake it out. It's nice. Um, this, I'd still have to pull crap out. So uh, anyways, there it is. We'll try it out here on mowing day. We only have one day of mowing. So we'll have a, uh, we'll have Sammy on it. I might mow a little bit. I'm probably gonna leave the rest of that for the flow mower video. Um, I don't know. I might go back and mow a little bit more just to kind of see. I'm kind of intrigued now. Um, it is kind of smooth. It's quiet. Plenty of power. Like, that's some pretty tall stuff. It's not the tallest you'll have to mow. Um, but if you let it go a week on the wrong week, you could easily have that back there. Um, anyways. Hi, Lil. See. Now she's trying to get in. She wants her food. I'm going to go let my dog in and... Uh, you guys have a good day. Hopefully you like this little video. I'll put this one up first and then watch for the next video. We'll just put like Cup Cadet with the drone or something. Um, anyways, I'm going to go let my dog in. You guys have a good night. Have a good weekend. Uh, it's Thursday, so by the time the video is up, it might be Friday. And I'm going to go see if my wife will make me dinner. Have a good one.